gentlemen, and the official 49th Olympia weekend has begun right here at the press conference. How are we doing, Las Vegas? <laughs> Folks, as you know, we have the most competitive Olympia and Olympia history this time around in the 212 and the Open. Some great competitors, three Mr. Olympias on stage at the 212 and three Mr. Olympias competing in the Open for the first time. We've got competitors from all over the globe. We've got rookies making their first appearance. We've got defending champions. We've got returning champions trying to get that coveted Sandow and 212 Showdown Award in place. Folks, we've got a little special treat for you this year. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the passing of our founding father, the show that it is named after the man himself, Joe Weider, is no longer with us here, but he is looking down from above, and of course, he likes a good show as good as anybody. So how about a big round of applause for our founding father, Mr. Joe Weider. <laughs> Folks, the Olympia started, this is our 49th year, as I mentioned, our 50th year. Next year, we're going to have, of course, all kinds of surprises for you, but we're going to focus on the 49th year this year. This show started in 1965 with $1,000 on a platter and a crown given to its winner, Larry Scott. Here we are 49 years later, $1 million on the table this year. All right, folks, we're gonna start things off. The 212 guys are here. We have 12 of the best 212 competitors in the world. We're gonna have them weigh in right here in front of everybody. And then, of course, we're gonna get a chance to ask the guys a few questions. So we're gonna start things off with our first competitor, please welcome Raul Carrasco Jimenez.
14.6. How heavy are the track suits? Al says, don't worry, I got this, I got this. I should have eaten that cheeseburger backstage, Al. It's like somebody's in shape. All right, here we go. You know he's going to open now. Two o eight point two. You got those pockets, buddy. Our next competitor, please welcome Troy Elves. Typo Troy Ells in the two the 212. Two oh nine point two Troy Ells. Our next competitor, please welcome Mark Dugdale. Ten 
Ladies and gentlemen, former 212 Olympia champion, David Henry. Zero, David Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, former 212 Olympia champion, Kevin English. Is the internet right? Is Kevin 235 pounds? No, he is 209.4, Kevin English. A lot of carving up. Ladies and gentlemen, your final competitor, your current and reigning 212 champion of the world, Lux Cell phone out, bro. Cell phone. Take your watch off. Earring might have to come out. 210.6. Flex Blue. All right, folks. Everybody weighed in under the 212 limit. for the last half hour. First and foremost, guys, it's great to be in Vegas. It's great to see each and every one of you supporting the Mr. Olympia. Thank you so much. I, uh, I came in here earlier and uh, I stepped on stage. I stepped on the scales with all uh, what I'm wearing. I was actually 215. So I had a peel off. I need to say myself and Neil Hill done a couple of laps around the Ollie's Hotel. So I do apologize if anybody tried to stop me for four doors. I kept my head down low and I just put my hat backwards and, you know, we got to do what we got to do to make weight. And again, we've lost, somehow lost five pounds somewhere. I don't know what it is. It's around the all in. So if you find it, put it in the slot machine. Good place to be doing it. All right, champ, you took the title last year. You find yourself in uncharted waters as defending the title. Is it different coming back this year as a defending champ as chasing it? Most definitely, because this is the decider. Um, you could win the title once, but winning the title solidifies everything. Um, for me, I've traveled the world this year, um, and I've been very blessed to see countries that um, you know a lot of the athletes never get to see. Um, sort of turning back, you know, I was on motivated on the road, each and each and every one of you guys that are year from all parts of the world to bring a better, bigger Flex Lewis back to the Olympia this year. Yeah, right. So, thank you very much. And again, I'm going to bring that package, guys. You know, I don't have the off-season, like some of the guys are up on stage against me. You know, they have luxury to stay home. I've got contractual obligations, but you know what? When the time to be put, to, when the time's been put in, it's been put in. And 20 weeks out was my off-season to pre-contest time. And I think I've made the significant gains to bring that title back, you know, and bring it back next year, too. All right, your reigning champ, Flex Lewis. Well, speaking of returning champions, who's a former 212 Olympia champion, David Henry making his return back to the Olympia stage. Welcome back, David. David, speaking of uncharted waters, you find yourself back in the mix as having a newborn at the house. I'm sure it's been keeping you up some uh, late nights. How's that getting ready for the show? You know, uh, this year was actually mentality has changed. Um, my daughter's been fantastic. My wife's been doing 99% of it, of course, so I gotta give her. <laughs> I gotta, she's out there, guys. Check her out. Uh, my daughter's nothing but comedy, man. She brings uh, a whole lot uh, to the training and everything I was at. 
fortunately uh, blessed enough to switch shifts and things like that where I could train in the morning and, and do what I needed to do, but still work 60 hours a week doing what I do in my current profession uh, as well. But uh, this contest prep has been spot on. Well, David, uh, you found yourself out of the mix last year, of course, due to your uh, contractual obligations with uh, businesses in the armed forces. Uh, so obviously we didn't have you on stage last year. Did you miss the stage? We missed the year before, Bob. The year before. <laughs> Thanks for the correction in front of me. No, no, I, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> no, because last year this guy won it, you know. So uh, I did miss the stage, but I think the, the time off that I didn't have to prep or anything gave me a little more longevity. I didn't have to train for anything. I did a lot of jiu-jitsu, a lot of martial arts and stuff like that while I was, I was out of the country. And, that pretty much put my mind at different spots. So when I came back, it was, it was game on the time to rock and roll. What changes do you feel you have to make to take out Flex Lewis? Uh, you know, the conditioning game is what we're doing. And everyone up here, uh, from what I'm witnessing and things like that, you can tell a lot by forearms and calves, and you really can. And these guys, these guys are on point, and that's all I wanted to uh, make sure that everyone had no excuses, did what you had to do, get up on their own stage and it looks like cartoons, you know, that's, that's, that's the look we were going for. So yeah. my changes, <laughs> I just trained hard as everything, and it's, I know I posted some of those pics on uh, my fan page out there, people saw those um, and everything. I did a lot of bombing, you know, a lot of lower body bombing, of course, and uh, thanks to Dennis James for that one workout, everyone saw that. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to bring everything in line, if you will. Uh, age has not caught up with me uh, or anything like that. I'm still rock and rolling. I'm still, this is a different look um, that people are going to see. Um, I don't know if, if the physique is as pretty as you say, uh, you know, it's been, but uh, it's definitely a lot more greenier, um, a lot more separation in detail. So with that, hopefully it takes home the win. All right, David Henry. Well, the man to your right, I know, was not on the stage last year. He wanted to be on the stage last year, and he came up one point short in the point standings. Unfortunately, Sammy, you couldn't get to that final show to get that one point to get on stage, but I know you were chopping at the bit to get back here at the Olympia. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hard where I come from and to do a lot of shows during the year to have a lot of points to stand you know, ahead of everybody and get qualified. Uh, I couldn't make it. Traveling about 26, 25 hours with transits, uh, it's just kind of, uh, you know, manipulating with your uh, jet lag and water retention and the cost of it. I couldn't make a lot of shows, but I was watching them, all of them, uh, live uh, when I was doing treadmill early morning, watching at the Olympia, and I was burning. I wanted to be along with this lineup, but I, re I didn't regret it because what I missed, I've seen better lineup this year, which is there's no excuses. That's the best lineup ever. I might be cursed to be in this lineup, but uh, I think this is how you prove yourself to be among the best, and you see how yourself to stand next to the best. Sammy, what changes did you make in your training? Like I said, you had all year to prepare. You've seen the lineup, obviously, uh, uh, last year, just all, every bit as good as this year. Um, what changes to your own physique did you think you needed to make to be competitive to win this show? Um, losing um, with Flex Lewis and uh, Kevin English, Jose Raymond, uh, everyone have a, a different, you know, strong points, and I, I gotta have the size, gotta have the condition, and uh, unpredicted person, which is Flex Lewis, he's always developing, he's always putting new look, since I was watching him in amateur, uh, he was in a professional, he keep changing, people used to point him in a, in a weak points, but now, I think he's the guy which is I'm after, everybody's after. Uh, David Henry is, he used to battle, give hard time at the open, and now he's in two and two. Jose Raymond, uh, take my hat off for him. I took him up, he took me down at the New York and uh, he opened the, you know, the door for the hard training more and more because if you don't lose, you want to train even harder. So I was training harder for everyone. There is, uh, I have to put the size, I have to put the condition, I have to put above all is my balance and static physique and to, d to deliver the full package. And I think this time I have it all. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> all right, return the 212 Mr. Olympia. Kevin English, welcome back to the Olympia stage, my friend. 
Kevin, uh, everybody just witnessed, you stepped on the scale. You of all people, for years now, the internet runs wild. Kevin English is 220 pounds. But he carves up by the time he's on stage. It's not even fair. He's 225 pounds. How does he do it? But it's all just internet rumor, is it not? You know, in the past, I did things a lot different. Um, this time around, my mental, ask, my mental outlook, as well as my physical um, I look as far as training and diet, we're totally different, so everyone's going to see a totally different package than they've ever seen before. Well, Kevin, earlier in the year, we get into May, New York Pro, huge show, big lineup, Jose in there, Sammy, host of other great competitors. We see the name of Kevin English on the list. But when showtime came, no Kevin English. What happened? Uh, unfortunately, I suffered from dehydration, I'm trying to make weight. So you were actually there and ready to go. I was there. Um, I wasn't at the show, but um, the night prior, you know, I was getting ready, conditioned, just trying to make weight. Kevin, there's um, obviously, like I say, with three Olympia champions on stage, the first time we've had that in the 212, uh, and obviously with the rest of the lineup, the most competitive 212 in history. Um, give me your thoughts and chances of winning the title back. Well, there's nothing to chance. I'm going to win that title back. You know, I put so much work, you know, as everyone else did. And it's no disrespect to Flex or any other competitors, but I know in my heart I did what I had to do to come in and win this show. Which leads me to a good question here because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I you say no disrespect to Flex, but Flex, you took, I think you took a little offense to some of the comments that Kevin made yesterday. Well, I didn't put hair gel on because I thought I was going to make weight. So I had to do what I got to do to make weight. We all did. You know, we'd be here on stage and, um, and I, obviously this is, a, this is a prep conference. Everyone's controversy. I walk a different walk. I let my, my physique to the top on stage. I always speak highly of every athlete on stage because we're all doing what we need to do. But no, I, I would never uh, talk down about a man or anything like that. Of course, we are here to fight for the same title. And um, of course, there's confidence and there's cockiness. And of course, I think I've done everything. I know I've done everything um, to win the show on Saturday. So that said, you know, David, Kevin, and everybody that's around us, we've all trained for that same title. And I don't want everybody there to be in the best shape. This is the best 212 competition ever. This is the, the lineup of all lineups. We've got no excuses. Everybody is here from past champions to the present champion. And again, Saturday night, I feel, I know, I've done everything in my power. I've walked as the, the 212 Mr. Olympia all year round. I've traveled the world. I've shut hands. And basically, I feel I've, I, I embody what a Mr. Olympia should be on and off stage. Giving back to you guys as the fans walking as a professional, and again, you know, just conducting myself, not hiding away in the limelight, shaking hands, doing what I need to do media-wise, doing what I need to do in the gym. And when the crunch comes, comes, again, my proof is in the pudding up on stage. So Saturday night, guys, I'm bringing the physique that is going to yeah, win that right. show. <laughs> Kevin, why do you beat Flex Lewis? Excuse me? Why do you beat Flex Lewis? Why? Because I'm Kevin English. I'm a king. That's it. Kevin, last, last time we all know that, you know, there's a 10 pound weight difference now. So I won it at the 212 last year. And you won it twice at the 202. So, you know, we're talking now, we're, we're mixing it up with the big boys. So last time you try to make it, on stage, you never showed up. So let's bring this Kevin English. Let's bring this Kevin English. Well, Flex, remember this. You won a title. Oh, yes, it's all good. You won a title because I wasn't there last year. I'm here this year. You have the title, I'm the, but I'm the champ. And come this Saturday, I'll have both. Right. Well, it is what it is. I've been here in Nevada since Sunday night, so the heat can get to you. <laughs> but I'll leave it like that.
two great champions fighting it out. Here's a guy that might have his own little say in the matter, Jose Raymond. Yes, sir. You won in New York. You competed against these gentlemen in the past. You said to me uh, a while back, look at I ain't gonna offer anybody. I'm no Tricky Jackson on stage with the posing, but I'll tell you this, I will be the most muscular, gnarly looking, <laughs> grainy guy out on that stage. Is that enough to take these two guys out? Absolutely. I've beaten every person here one time or another except for this guy. And that time is coming. So I have every reason in the world to be confident. And like you said, no, I'm not the prettiest thing to look at. And that ain't my game. But, you know, people don't go to the circus to see pretty girls. They go to see the bearded lady. <laughs> I'm the bearded lady. You are the bearded fat lady, yes. Exactly. So, that'll be interesting tomorrow, won't it? I think you're in the wrong competition, actually. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Jose, um, did Kevin not go in New York because you were in it? I don't believe that. I think Kevin had his serious issues he was dealing with and uh, had to get him rectified. But, um, you know, that's all behind us now. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday, We'll, we'll see what's up, you know. If Kevin showed up in New York, were you still a beat him? Yeah. Yeah. That time is here. That time is now, you know. Kevin was like a, a big brother to me and, and, and helped me, kind of like Jay did to Phil and uh, bringing me up, and he just might have taught me a little too much. If you're in the circus and you're the bearded fat lady, who's Kevin? Kevin's the one guessing the weights. <laughs> he may be guessing the weights, but does he has your does he have your number? No, no. As I said, those days are over. I'm gonna I'm gonna be just too much for him and uh, a lot of other people. So, win, lose, or draw. I came here to put on a great show for you guys, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna be the freak. And, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about placings. I'm just worried about bringing you the best. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. You've got a Jose Raymond, a confident Jose Raymond. All right, Eduardo Correa. A lot of people had you winning, possibly even winning the show last time you stepped on the Olympia stage. You've made improvements. You've been working with your coach. What are the areas of improvement you've been working on to take the title from these guys. Yeah, uh, the people talk about Kevin, about Jose, about Flex and Dave, uh, but don't forget about me because I was three times top three this class, and I think the, now is the hardest lineup, but it's a great motivation to me to to prove for these guys my best, and I can't believe that I can see all the guy with the same or best condition of me on the stage. And I work hard for this year. I like every year. And what I can say, uh, mm, I know, I know you've been working on your English this year, and I gotta say, Marty, you've done an outstanding job. It was just a couple of years ago, believe me, he knew no English, so you've been working hard, my friend. Very good. And I, I keep showing my best condition on Saturday, and I improve my size. I know this guy is, he showed the, he's the best, too, and I, 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 can for, I, I can forget to say thank you for my fans and my followers. And I receive a lot of messages, and I give my best to improve my English to stay close of these people that I love. Thank God. Eduardo, uh, feel free to say something in Portuguese for your fans. I would like to thank all the Brazilians who are present. And I hope to hear the voice of all of you on Sunday, giving me force to represent the bodybuilder of Brazil, which is growing more and more. Para mim é um orgulho estar aqui, poder estar falando em português para todo mundo e 
quero agradecer e dizer que eu vou dar o meu melhor e nós vamos ganhar desses caras. É isso aí. Obrigado. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, here's an unfamiliar face in the 212 at least, but a veteran on the Olympia stage, Troy Elves. Welcome to the 212. Troy, big decision this year. You've been one of those guys who've been right on the bubble the minute the weight went up to every nose. I Olympia think the most of my genetics, and I think uh, it fits perfectly well in the 212s. And I think when we're lined up, people will see. I think they have no idea how it matches up until you actually see it on stage with everybody. All right, thank you, Troy. All right, tricky. Not even an argument anymore. People used to speculate about who was the best entertainer, poser in the IFBB. No speculation anymore. That man is Tricky Jackson. How are we doing, Tricky? I'm doing great, Bob. Um, I appreciate the um, compliment on the posing, but um, I want to get straight to business and let you know that, yes, I do have a great routine for this weekend, but I'm here just like everybody else is on the stage, and, and I'm here to win the show. And I don't care who won last year. I don't care who won two years before that. This Saturday morning is a zero, zero. It doesn't matter who won previously. And, uh, you know, a lot of the fans have a tendency to think that maybe I'm not big enough to win at the Olympia showdown, which absolutely makes no sense to me because everybody on the stage is within about 15 pounds. And if you got a Dexter Jackson to win the Open or Phil Heath, who also is not the biggest guy in the Open, then there's no reason at all why I can't or anybody else for that matter can't win this show um, based on the most complete package. And I have a very complete package, very conditioned, and I present it very well, and then we're going to see that very well. Well said, Tricky. The very essence and reasoning why the 212 exists now, so that these guys can obviously compete on equal footing. Um, I'm going to move quickly so we can get to the rest of the guys. Raul Carrasco Jimenez. Oh, I know you've been working on your English, but we have uh, no words yet, correct? Sorry. <laughs> Got one. English. No word. That's okay. Bueno, agradecer a toda mi familia y a todo mi país de España. Y solo deciros que si tengo la oportunidad el año que viene de estar aquí, pues eh, hablaré en inglés. <laughs> Whatever he said, I agree 100%. All right, Mark Dugdale. <laughs> All right, Mark, back at it in the 212. You've done very good in this class in the past, but you've got to get into the winner's circle. What changes did you have to make? Well, the last time I was here was actually 202, and trying to get back to the 202 proved a uh, feat that my body wasn't willing to endure. And as luck would have it, they raised it to 212, so that seemed like a a good fit for me. I've been training uh, under John Meadows uh, coaching for the last oh, year and a half and I've been training seven days a week for the last year. That's something that I couldn't do when I was in my 20s and it's afforded me the opportunity to not have to do cardio which I enjoy. Not having to do cardio and um, I think it's really changed my physique significantly, and it's allowed me, the way he uh, programs workouts, to be able to train with the Dorian-type mentality that I trained uh, under in my 20s, and uh, but not get injured. So it's, you know, Flex has been shaking hands around the world this last year, but I've been pumping iron. Well said, my friend. Well said. The business of pumping iron, that's what it's all about. Mark Dugdale, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Al Auguste, representing Haiti. How we doing, Al? Pretty good. How we feel about your chances at this year's Olympia? Well, you know, since I turned pro um, 2010 at the USA, every show that I've done so far, you know, I've been improving each and every single one of them. So if I didn't think I couldn't beat any of these guys, I wouldn't be here. How's your training been this year, Al, in terms of Mark? Obviously, he's been hitting the iron. Flex has been kissing babies and shaking hands all over the world. <laughs> Al has been working on his English. 
Uh, my training has been pretty successful throughout the year. Um, you know, I got, got it um, with my coach. We made a few uh, changes here and there. Uh, just try to improve it on every uh, on every single single mus uh, muscle group, just to bring out a, a complete package. All right, thank you. Al. And last, but certainly not least, very appropriate because guy, I've been watching you all year long compete and compete and compete to get enough points to get on this stage. Was it all worth it, my friend? Last year I did six shows, so uh, I stacked up some points. So I only had to do one show this year to uh, to get in that uh, the top five for the, for the points. So it was absolutely well worth it. Knowing that there was only uh, a handful of guys last year, there was over 20 competitors at the Olympia, and this year there's uh, 12, and it's 12 of the best in the world. So um, it was absolutely worth it. So. Let me get this right, Guy. You actually had a little strategy involved because by last year, what Guy is talking about is the shows after the Olympia, uh, which actually count towards points at this Olympia. So you actually got on the circuit early, gained enough points, and, and like even though you had to compete a lot, you had to get in there. Uh, obviously, the point system is well working in your favor. Well, when you're an athlete or a competitor in any sport, um, the only thing you want to do is win, and anything but winning is unacceptable to any athlete, and um, after winning a show in 2011, not getting a win since then is, uh, it sucks to say the least. So um, being here in the uh, 212 Olympia with the best of the best is, um, is a blessing. You know, I, I don't want to be here by points. I don't think anybody wants to be here saying, oh, I, I got here because I got it through points. You know, it'd be great to be here saying, you know, I got here because I, I want to show. You know, I really wanted to do the New York Pro. Steve puts on a great show, and that's going to be the show that I focus on for next year. But, you know, uh, being here with, with some of these guys, I don't look at them as competitors. I, I can't vouch for everybody that's sitting on the stage, but I can definitely vouch um, for a couple of them. You know, I compete, and I, I battle against these guys. They want to beat me as much as I want to beat them. But guys like Flex, Dave, Jose, they're, they're like brothers. We talk every day. We motivate each other. You know, they want to beat me as much as I want to beat them. And to c be competing against the best of the best and four and three, four of the guys that you can actually say your family is, is probably, you know, the best thing in the world. So no matter what happens, I can tell you all guys from working with Chris, Chris Aceto and, uh, you know, training with Charles Glass this year, you all ain't seen none yet. All right, thank you, guys. Flex Lewis, you're the champ. You got the last word. Well, guys, um, like I said, when I, when I came in here, yeah, it's uh, going to be a buckle, and it's going to be the best 212 ever. So I hope you guys are ready because each and every one of us are all going to bring it for the selling event this weekend. So I'm excited just as much as you. I'm a fan of the sport, so, you know, let's get this party started. I've got some food underneath me. I get back to the hotel. Time to carve up, time to see you guys at the Expo tomorrow. Enjoy the weekend, enjoy the whole experience. And again, you're going to see myself walking away with that 212 title again this year. So. All right, I'm going to bring in for the champ, Flex Lewis, and all 12 of our competitors. One of these gentlemen will be named 212 Olympia champion. Thank you, gentlemen.